This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 3.2.4.7, Troubleshooting of VLAN Implementation, Scenario 1, which is a part of the Routing and Switching Essentials uh, curriculum in the Cisco Networking Academy. Now, at this point, you should have already completed the Configuring VLANs and Configuring Trunks Packet Tracer Assignments uh, to practice out our you know, commands for creating VLANs, naming them, um, putting our end devices uh, or the ports connected to our end devices like PCs in switch port mode access uh, and for the correct VLAN and then also in the trunks lab to configure from switch to switch those ports in trunking mode being able to carry the right VLANs and being uh, with the correct and matching management VLAN on each end. All right, so hopefully you've had a chance to work all through all of those to practice those commands. All right, now in this particular lab, we're going to go a step further and look at what they have configured because some stuff they've configured correctly, some stuff they have not. So we have to use our show commands and our uh, kind of um, detective skills to look at what could be wrong and then fix it if it is wrong. Okay, so in this scenario, we cannot ping from any of our PCs and everything, so we want to be able to investigate what is going on. Uh, they kind of suggest verify if the following configurations for each PC is correct. Now, this is a troubleshooting lab. Um, we've troubleshooted stuff. You know, you've probably done it at home. I have. If you know the internet's out or anything, you know, may be a problem in your life. We kind of go through a uh, scientific method, as you will. Uh, or if you will. Um, so we don't want to take the um, rocket scientist approach, which, mean, which means like think of the most complicated solution you can possibly think of. We also don't want to do the caveman approach, which is like, you know, uh, hit it to death until it tries to, you know, work, right? So we want to take a simple but yet methodical approach. You know, when you call those helplines and they ask you, you know, are you sure your computer is plugged in for when they, uh, when you're troubleshooting computer problems, it really is a process. I know that sometimes that frustrates us, but the first thing we want to do is verify the IP addressing. So up here, we've got six PCs that we have all have IP addresses and subnet, subnet masks for. So we want to go through each PC and just double check to make sure it's right. So PC1 should be 172.17.10.21. Subnet mask is correct. PC2, we want to do the same thing. Okay, 20.22. Everything's correct there. PC3, 30.23. Everything correct there. PC4, 10.24. Everything's correct there. PC5, 20.25, everything correct there. And PC6, okay, PC6 we notice there's an error, okay? They have it listed as 172.17.50.26. That should say 30.26 based off of our diagram over here, okay? And you can also see we just got 10 points for fixing that, okay? So we wanna change that to 172.17.30. Dot 26, and you can leave the subnet mask if that was correct. Okay. Now that we've got that, we check the subnet mask for each one. It says step two, verify the configurations on the switches. So we want to make sure that everything is assigned to the correct VLAN. So let's start with S1 here. We can do a couple things. Let's do a show VLAN brief since we know we're working with VLANs. Okay. We don't have any end device, you know, devices to worry about here. Um, we should have our G0, our G gigabit Ethernet ports in the um, correct VLANs because if you notice, switch one, no end devices, but we do need to be able to carry all traffic from switch one to switch two. And the same issue is in this lab. This should be G01 and G01, G02 and G02, okay? Not the labels that they have. So um, we wanna make sure to be able to uh, carry the correct traffic. And remember, even though they're configured in trunk mode on each end, we also need, um, there's three things. You need it in trunk mode, you need the right management VLAN to match on each end, which in this case should be 99 okay and you also need the correct vlans carry so we need to carry 10 20 30 and 99 okay so let's do a show run that one 
you know, we learned in Net125, but it's very good because you can see what they've configured on each port. So Gigabit Ethernet G01 on Switch 1, which is connected to Switch 2 G01. They've got Switch Port Trunk Native VLAN 99, but they've got it in access mode. So we need to fix that. So you can write that down. We need to fix Gigabit Ethernet uh, G01. So let's go ahead and fix that first. So interface G01. We need to change that to switch port mode trunk instead of switch port mode access. Okay. Secondly, and we can leave that there. That is correct, the management VLAN. But we also need to change the VLAN that it's carrying. So we need to do switch port allowed VLAN 10, 20, 30, 99. Oh, sorry, switch port trunk allow VLAN 10, 20, 30, 99. Now, I don't think the packet trace is grading that, but you do still want it there in a real world situation. And then on G02, let's look at that. That's connected to switch three, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk native VLAN 99. But I'm still going to go in here into G02 and do switch port. Trunk allowed VLAN 10, 20, 30, 99. OK. Those two are not graded. But the one that is graded is making sure you change G01 to switch port mode trunk. OK. Now, it keeps giving you an error. So something's wrong with S2, right? So let's go check S2 out anyway. We do a show VLAN brief. All right, we've got end devices over here, as well as we need G01 to be in trunking mode and all that stuff. We need these ports to carry the correct traffic. So before we get too far into it, okay, I'm going to again, and you don't have to do this, it will not grade it incorrectly or anything. PC1. And PC4 are both in VLAN 10, PC2 and PC5 are both in VLAN 20, PC3 and PC6 are both in VLAN 30. So I'm just going to do a little label here. Just to remind myself as I'm going through the lab. Okay, so I just wanted to remind myself as I'm, I'm going through the lab, uh, you know, which PC is in which VLAN so I can remember. All right, now um, as we're looking at S2, so VLAN 10, okay, should have port FA011 signed. We don't see that. Okay, we see FA011 down here on 30, so we know that's wrong. Uh, VLAN 20, it shows in FA018, that's correct. And VLAN 30, FA06, so that is correct. But this one right here, FA011 needs to be in switch port uh, or for port 10. So let's go ahead and fix that. Interface FA011. And we need to do switch port mode access. If I could spell it. Switch port access VLAN 10. Okay. And let's do a show run in general just to look at what's going on here. So again, Interface FA011, we got that right. Switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10. Uh, 18 is correct for carrying 20 traffic to PC2. And 6 is correct for carrying 30 traffic to VLAN uh, or to, to PC3. Now we do also, we have G01 on S2 that's connected to S1. So we need switch port mode trunk and we see switch port mode access. The native VLAN is correct, but we need to change this to switch port mode access. So let's go handle that. Interface G01. 
and we need to change that to switch port mode trunk. And again, I always do switch port trunk allow VLAN 10, 20, 30, 99. Okay. So now, if we go back and do a show run again, we should see that changed right here for G01. Also, if we do a show VLAN brief, we should see these worked out in the correct order as well. Okay. Now, just to show you the before and after, if we did a show run again on switch one, okay, we see these G01 and G02 worked out correctly in the correct modes, correct native VLAN, and the correct allow VLANs. There's no end devices connected to S1, so we don't need to worry about that. But now let's look at S3. Okay. We've got 10 traffic flowing to FA011. That is correct. We've got 20 traffic flowing to FA06. That is not correct. It should be 30. And we've got 30 traffic flowing to FA018, which is not correct. That should be VLAN 20. So we need to flip flop those. So let's go handle that. So configuration mode, uh, interface FA018. Okay, we need switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20. Interface FA06, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 30. Okay, so now if we go back and repeat the show VLAN brief, we should see these worked out in the correct order now. If we do a show run, let's look at our, you should see the exact same things here for FA011, 6, and 18. Okay, well, let's look at our gigabit. We got G02 connected to S1. We see switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk native VLAN 99. Now, again, that should work. Uh, I'm just going to go in though and still do, and this is not graded. Okay. All right, so again, that is not graded. All right, now let's look at what we're 60 out of 70. So there could be still something going on here, right? So let's look at some connectivity stuff, just as in a real world thing, okay? PC1 to PC4, we get successful. PC3 to PC6, we get successful. Now let's try PC2 to PC5. Okay, it's failing. All right, so if PC1 can ping PC4, we know everything is worked out for these ports. The connectivity for the trunking ports between the switches are right, as well as PC3 to PC6. Now again, you know, only the PC, the VLAN 10 stuff should ping VLAN 10. So it's kind of like blue to blue, red to red, and green to green. Can't mix the colors, okay? But what it could be causing PC2 and PC5 not to be able to ping each other, okay? So we can get all the way across the network for these other ones. We've double checked to make sure our VLANs are in the correct spot. So let's think about in terms of physical connections. What could be the issue? Well, if you hover your mouse, because this label says FA018, but that does not mean it's actually plugged into FA018. So let's look over here. If we hover our mouse over the green dot, it says FA018. That's correct, right? But if we hover our mouse over this FA018, what is it, or this port, what does it say? FA017. So if we take our mouse here to unplug it, you click it, and then we're going to plug it back in to switch three, but in FA018, because before it was actually in the wrong port. So even though we configured everything correctly, it was plugged into the physical wrong port on the actual switch. So everything was working, but you know it was plugged into the wrong port, so it's not gonna actually work. 
All right, so once this becomes green, and you can press the fast forward time button a couple times to get it to go ahead and, uh, you know, configure. So now let's try from PC2 to PC5, and we get successful. So that was the last thing, and we got 70 out of 70. So again, when you're troubleshooting this stuff, you really need to remember your show commands, like show run. Uh, that'll show you a lot, even though it's kind of the most simplest. Um, the... Uh, show VLAN brief in this case for our VLAN configuration will help as well. So uh, it depends on what you're doing, but again, make sure you're methodical in your approach and um, you know, kind of checking off what you've done. And you never want to just wipe everything out and start over, and you never want to go too complicated. All right. So that concludes lab assignment 3.2.4.7.